Good day everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Glynis and I am the Witch of White Tail Hollow. Thank you so much for joining me. I have had a few people ask me about moon work and with the next full moon, which is the flower moon, I thought that I would come on and share you, with you what I'm going to be doing for some moon work. Now over the winter here at the hollow, with all of the leaves off of the trees, I can watch the moon come around and you know, it could be something just as simple as going outside and bathing yourself in moonlight and just, you know, taking that time to check in with yourself, you know, where you are mentally, emotionally, physically, and, you know, just bathe, bathe in moonlight. And I am just so fortunate that I can lay in bed and I can, I mean, it just, the moonlight just comes pouring in through the windows. But what I'm going to be doing this particular May moon, flower moon, is I'm going to be making a tea. Uh, if you have a French press, that's great. If you just want to mix it in, you know, just a plain container, then that's okay too. But what I'm going to be adding for this particular flower moon is catnip. Now, medicinally, catnip is good if you are feeling, you know, kind of overwhelmed with emotions. Just, you know, if you're kind of, your nerves are kind of on jagged edge, so to speak. Um, Magically speaking, um, catnip is a very is a very good aphrodisiac, and I guess that would be medicinally as well too. But it's very very good. It magically speaking, catnip attracts friendly spirits. So if you know if you've done you know as much as you can do to cleanse negativity out of your home, out of your life, this is a good way if you want to attract friendly spirits. And, you know, you might be surprised. Friendly spirits can be very, very helpful when you, you know, want an answer to a question. Uh, if, you, if you're having, a, you know, a couple of issues in your life and you're not really quite sure what to do, catnip, definitely. The next one that I'm going to be using is chamomile. Now, chamomile is excellent, medicinally speaking, for digestion, but you want to avoid this if you are pregnant. Just a word of warning. It improves, if, if you are having slight depression, it improves depression. Now, I'm not a doctor or a nurse or anything like that. I'm just very, you know, herbally minded, but if you're having a little bit of a depression, Depression chamomile, of course, is wonderful. But magically speaking, it is a great way to honor the sun, peace, beauty, and youth. Great. And no one I've seen too much, you know, online use it for prosperity. Very, very good for prosperity. And if you are looking for answers, magically speaking, in your life, Chamomile is a great illuminator. So if you know you're looking, you're looking, and you just, you know, it's like right there, and you just can't see it. Chamomile, chamomile. And the next one that I'm using, I'll give you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of a a quick look, if I can. Let's see, turn it around a bit. This is self heal and really excellent self-heal you will find in buds like this. This, so this herb borders and, is, and should be ranked right along with uh, milky oak tops. 
I, I think I've shared with you guys before my milky oak top tea. It is, uh, you know, one of those that I go to once a month, once every couple of months. If I really, really want to do a lot of physical, physical healing, this is a new, nutritive herb. Very, very good, excellent, good for your body. Excellent. If you can find it, uh, it can be hard to find, but this is very safe. Usually, like I said, I'm not a doctor, but this is very, very safe. And it is excellent for immune support, allergies, colds, fevers, things like that. So self-heal. This is the combination that I'm going to be doing. And all I'm going to do is to put it in my French press. You know, there's no right or wrong amount to use. Plunk it in there. Don't add boiling water to it. Add very, very warm water, very warm water to it. And, you know, just, I'll just go ahead and, because I, I think, I think it's going to be really good. I'm going to add my self heal first. I, I'm hoping that you guys can see. A goodly amount of catnip. Now, one thing about catnip, um, if this is a diuretic, so you're going to, if you drink too much of this and make it this too strong for, with catnip, you're you're gonna it's gonna increase your urination if you you know just keep with this and do with catnip you could get dehydrated so just you know just enough catnip and catnip is excellent in love spells and love sachets and things like that but uh, a little bit of chamomile just you know it's it's not science in my book anyway I'm going to pour my very hot water and set this just like it is. I have a very, very special spot outside uh, for work workings like this. And I'm going to allow this to set, you know, if you're not really sure you're going to get up before daylight, then, you know, let it set out for an hour. I probably, in the winter, I probably could set this in my window, and that would be totally, totally fine. If you don't have chamomile, catnip, or self-heal, another good, another good combination is hibiscus. And, of course, for the flower moon, hibiscus is wonderful. Wonderful for beauty work if you have a glow. And of course, now we, we used to many, many, many years ago call them beauty spells, but now they call them glamour spells. So um, if you have glamour spells, hibiscus, great, great, great antioxidant. Very, very good for you, you and your body. Lemon balm. And any kind of peppermint or spearmint. So this combination is also wonderful for the upcoming flower moon in May. It's going to be wonderful. And don't forget, have an extra container for just plain moon water for you to use throughout the next lunar cycle. Now, I'm sure that most of you have made moon water before. I'm going to drop a link below to just a way I use and prepare very basic moon water. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you join me again. Merry part, and I absolutely hope that we marry me again. Goodbye, y'all.